Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, my name is Heather. I'm happy that you're here today because I want to share with you what I am putting in Michaela's Easter basket. I purchased items at Walmart, Target, the Dollar Tree, and Hobby Lobby to put in her basket. And so I'm really excited to share them with you. Up first is her Easter basket. I found this at the Dollar Tree. I'm obsessed with this bright yellow and this lavender ribbon together. I think it works so nicely. And what I love more about it is it is actually a functional item. It's not a basket that you're going to throw away in the closet until next year. It's going to be crushed. You're going to have to throw it away and buy another one. So I love that this is a purposeful item. She can put books in it or toys in it or whatever. And my idea was to put this in the car so that her movie cases or her books and toys and things of that nature are not going to be sliding and scattered everywhere in the car. We can put this in, store them all in here, and it's good to go. And my car is clean. So this was a win for her and it was a win for me. And I am absolutely happy to have this for her basket. The next thing that I found at the Dollar Tree is this My First Baking Cookbook. It is super cute. 50 recipes retailed for $9.99. Yes, you guys. That's one thing I love about the Dollar Tree is that they have so many books. Novels, cookbooks, coffee table books, gardening books, a ton of kids books, coloring books. I've even seen some adult coloring books in there and Bibles. It's really ridiculous that all of the things that they have in that store. So I was happy to find this honestly and obviously Michaela cannot read and she will need help with every bit of this but it's something that I wanted to do with her. So when I saw it I had to have it and of course you can't pass it up for a dollar. I did skim through this a while ago. Inside there are things like vanilla flour cookies, there's blueberry muffins, zucchini muffins, brownies, butterfly cakes, um, there's quiches in here if I can find it. There we go. There's mini quiches. There's so many cute little recipes in here for little ones and I think it's an amazing book. So hopefully you have this in your store because it's really great. Too great to pass up. The next book that I picked up at the Dollar Tree is God Cares For Me. It is a cardboard book. It has some really pretty bright illustrations in there. They're really simple and it's one sentence per page. This is great for toddlers but it's also great for people who have issues with turning pages. They still get to look at a pretty colored book on their own without help and so it's just easy for them to turn pages and that's what I really liked about it. And um, just really really pretty inside so I wanted to pick this up for her so it was something that could be washed pretty easily if she gets something on it in the car super easy pretty little book and there's actually four in this series um, obviously this one is God cares for me there's God made family God made friends and God made nature and if you're interested in this you could probably find all four at your Dollar Tree this one spoke to me the most so this is the one that I picked up for her the next thing I picked up at the Dollar Tree is this Minnie Mouse stickers and gummies package. The, the gummies on here are actually Mickey and Minnie. Um, and I can't tell what this, oh, here we go. Here's what the stickers look like. So here is what the stickers and the gummies look like. They're super cute. I don't know how good the gummies taste coming from the Dollar Tree, but I thought it was really cute and I'm really weird. Tell me if you guys are like this too. If my child is going to be tasting something for the first time, like a candy or something that I'm just unsure about, I taste it first. I don't know. Like, let me get the poisoning first. I don't know. But, um, I don't know about this one, but I thought it was really cute and it was really, honestly, the only Disney Easter item that I have found in any of the stores that I shopped at. I was so shocked. Could not believe this is the only thing. The next thing that I found at the Dollar Tree is this Lifesaver Gummies. And it is watermelon, cherry, green apple, orange, and strawberry. And I think that they're just like the regular rings, which I thought were really, really cute. She does love Lifesaver gummies. I thought the box was so pretty for spring, so I, I picked this up quite a while ago. The last thing that I found at the Dollar Tree was this gorgeous Palmer Making Candy Fun Candy Cross. It's got beautiful flowers in the middle. And it looks like it's milk chocolate, maybe. Yeah, it is a milk chocolate cross. I really loved the box on this too. It was really pretty. Next up, I'm going to be showing you what I got at the Target dollar spot. These items, both items did not cost a dollar. They cost three dollars, but they were absolutely worth it. They are both like learning games. How can you pass this up? So this is Picnic Party, and this is What Should I Do? And both of the boards look very similar, so I'm just going to show you this one um, up close, and then we'll talk about the other one. 
So this one's really cool. It comes with a spinner. It comes with a board. And it says social and emotional learning, attention and focus development, and problem solving skills. So I thought this would be a lot of fun for this summer to have something to do while she's on summer break and on spring break. And then, so the back kind of looks just like uh, sheets and ladders or a Candyland shaped board. Really, really cute. Again, I'm all for education and learning and um, helping kids reach their fullest potential. So when I see things that link fun and entertainment, I am all for it. So this picnic party, let's see, it teaches counting math skills, numbers, has one game board, four pawns, and 48 game cards. <coughs> Sorry, pollen is getting the best of me. So this one develops early math skills and critical thinking, and it's a really cute board of the same. Let's see if I can show you that without it being so glary. But it's really, really cute. There's butterflies on the board, cupcakes, ants, things like that. Really, really cute. Um, I will say that the Target Dollar Spot has some amazing things. They have like science experiment things, like rock tumbling type things. Really, really cute items right now that are great for Easter baskets. I think they have like gardening tools and things like that. This next item I bought, but I'm not keeping it. But I'll share it with you anyway in case you are interested in picking it up for your little one. This is a apron and pot holder or oven mitt set, I guess. It's an oven mitt. Um, it is really, really cute. I love the pattern on the, the glove itself. And then the apron itself says, let's cook. There's the back of it, what it looks like. So it's super cute. This set was $5 and it's comparable to like the Melissa and Doug products if you've used any of their stuff um, for kids. So Michaela does have one similar to this already. And, um, I just thought it was really cute and then I decided we didn't need it because she already had one and I'll be gifting this to somebody else but I thought it was really cute and it's definitely worth the five dollars because if you know Melissa and Doug they are not cheap the last item from Target is these lifesaver gummies these are extra adorable because they are bunnies and eggs I thought these were really cute I hadn't seen these before and yes she did get lifesavers but those are the rings these are the bunnies and the and the eggs you got to have both right these are the same flavors as the other, the watermelon, orange, strawberry, cherry, and green apple. And mom will probably have some too. The next item is from Hobby Lobby and the rest of the haul will be from Walmart. So let's get on to this adorable item. This is two sun catchers and it comes with the paint. I'm loving these spring colors that it came with. There are the colors of paint. You have purple, turquoise, like a peachy pink, and a lime green. And then you have the two cross sun catchers. I think they're really adorable. There's one that has like lines in it and one that has polka dots in it. Thought it was really, really cute. This was only $2.99 and all of the Easter products at Hobby Lobby are 40% off. I thought this might be a great item too out there for those might be doing Sunday school crafts on Easter morning as well as upcoming vacation Bible school at 40% off. You really can't beat this per kid and obviously you can do one sun catcher per kid so it's going to go a lot further. So I thought this was really awesome. I'm happy that it came with the paint. One cute little set and you call it done. Now we're moving on to the last of the items which came from Walmart. This first item is a three pack of bracelets and they were actually $3. And I love this little tag on it, it says hop to it. So it's just like a pink, green, and then like fake diamond, rhinestone-y, whatever you wanna call that, little bracelets. And they're really cute when they're stacked together. She's had these before, but this mom of the year actually ran over the pink one with the vacuum and I destroyed it. So I was really happy to see these on this little turnstile thing at Walmart with cute little bows and stuff. Had to have them for her because obviously I need to replace that. She does love bracelets. She loves all the girly girly things. So when I saw it, I had to get these and replace the one that I broke. And then obviously you can never have too many bracelets. The last few items are candy and so you really cannot have an Easter basket without one of these cute little bunny toppers with M&Ms in this. And this is just the little pastel M&Ms and I think it's really, really cute. We always have to get one of these no matter what the holiday is. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the kid in me that wants to get them. I have no idea. But they're really cute. They're only a dollar. So it's a great way to, to fill up the Easter basket with some candy. We don't typically eat a lot of candy around here because we're the type of people that... Um, at Halloween, we'll still have candy 
at Christmas and at Christmas we have it for Valentine's Day and then you know repeat that process so we don't really buy a whole lot of candy this is gonna last her seriously throughout the summer the next item is Reese cups and these are the mini Reese cups like the little individual small ones these were a dollar also at Walmart and so I had to pick this up for her I love that they've used the little Reese cups as the middle of the flowers really really cute how many is in here seven so there's like seven little um, mini Reese cups the next to the last item is in this cute little carton and it is Reese pieces eggs so I had never seen these before and I almost um, passed them up because I didn't know what they were but I think that they're really gonna be good I think she's gonna like them I love all these little things and cartons and like the bubble gum and the whoppers and stuff I think it's really cute the very last item will not stay in this bag. Michaela still picks up Easter eggs, usually like off of like higher surfaces or out of bushes and things like that. And a thing that started happening with her when she was little is she would expect you to open it, um, one of the eggs up and there would be a jelly bean inside. So she would get to the Easter egg and shake it when she would pick it up to make sure that there were jelly beans in it. So that has been going on since she was 18 months old. I kid you not, cannot make this stuff up. So we went ahead and picked up the classic, these are her favorite jelly beans. Actually my favorite too. I'm a black jelly bean person. Like I love black licorice. It's so good. I could make myself sick off it to be honest. And so these are just the classic jelly bird eggs. And uh, these will be going in the actual Easter eggs in the yard. But like I said, when I show you this put together, I will definitely be taking it back out and, and putting it in her eggs Easter morning. If you're gonna be making an Easter basket for your child, for your spouse, or for your parents, or for your in-laws, or just your friends, let me know in the comments below what you're gonna be adding in there because I would love to hear it. I love hearing other people's ideas and seeing their creativity. If you're making Easter basket on your channel, link it below and I will come watch. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.